Hello everybody, Chris, otherwise known as the Big Blue Baller, back with another NBA 2K20 Mavs My League video here for Game 2 of the Western Conference Quarterfinals here against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And before we jump right into this game, I have a quick announcement, very important. I will be streaming Game 3 tonight on my brand new Twitch channel, uh, Big Blue Baller. So the link is in the description. Go ahead and check it out. I'll be streaming sometime around uh, 6 p.m. Central Time. More information on Twitter at BigBlueBallerYT for updates. Go ahead and check that out. And if, if you're watching this video as I'm streaming it or after I stream it, don't worry. You didn't completely miss out. I plan on streaming game four as well. That will be coming out Sunday at around uh, 6 p.m. again. So go ahead and again, check Twitter for updates in case I update that stream time. Uh, as well as checking out Instagram at Big Blue Graham. But anyways, getting into game two right here. Going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder, Chris Paul. Pulling up for a quick one right at the beginning of this game. And of course, you already know we're coming in with Luka, the mismatch. Chris Paul not able to maintain him in the post. And we are getting the easy buckets to start this one. Uh, now, last game, yes, it was a very close one. Managed to pull it out, but one of the players that was bothering me a lot right there, Danilo Gallinari. And right away, for the first time ever in this series, I'm updating the defensive settings. Uh, changing the on-ball pressure to tight and then changing the off-ball, I believe, also to tight. No, I changed the on-ball to smother, off-ball to tight. Uh, because I was afraid if I changed the off-ball to smother, uh, then my defensive player, whoever's guarding Gallinari, is going to get stuck on screens, and I do not want that to happen. But one of the players that came out this game for the Thunder, Gilgis Alexander, was absolutely ball in this game. And uh, right here, the rare miss in the post from Luca on Chris Paul. Here comes CP3 leading the charge, and again, Gilgis Alexander driving in, getting the contested layup to fall down. Like I said, ball in this game bringing the Thunder to Dallas. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a tough matchup for sure. We used Luka a little bit more in this game than we did in game one. However, I do feel like I still used the rest of the Mavs teammates uh, pretty well, pretty efficiently. It wasn't just a one-man show, uh, as we'll see as we progress through this gameplay. Um, going into future games again, I don't really plan on using Luka quite as heavily as I have in previous videos because it's just too easy. We got a 96 overall in Luka Doncic. To be honest, I didn't even realize he was a 96 overall until I got a few games into this series. But yes, we're playing on Hall of Fame difficulty right there getting the assist to Dorian Finney-Smith. Game's tied up at 16 here, halfway through the first quarter. Chris Paul getting the ball stolen from him, and Luca passing it off to Dorian Finney-Smith, going for the stats. Stat padding right there, getting an assist. Porzingis getting doubled in the post. Luca driving it in. Once again, another post play, just taking advantage of that mismatch. Chris Paul is too tiny to be guarding Luka Doncic in the paint on a consistent basis. But, you know, CP3 is going to want to come right back. Unfortunately for him, though, getting the ball stolen. And here comes Luka. Already with 12 points here in the first quarter. Schroeder with the ball, shooting the three, missing that one. Here we go, Dorian Finney-Smith again. He was having quite the first quarter, getting, like, triple teamed here. I'm not sure what CP3 was doing because he wasn't putting much effort in guarding uh, Dorian Finney-Smith. And he was also leaving Luca wide open, and you already know if you leave Luca wide open from three, uh, that's gonna be easy buckets. Here we go again, the lob, the jam, Dorian Finney-Smith throwing it down, having a great first quarter here in game two for the Mavs. Sizing him up, DeLon Wright passing to Dorian Finney-Smith, it's the whoever offense on Chris Paul, getting that bucket to fall with the shot clock winding down. Here comes Schroeder. Passing it to CP3 in the corner. Oh, do you hear the thunder? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is actually 100% thundering outside my window right now as I'm doing this commentary. <laughs> Must be a sign. <laughs> so here we go. Full court shot not going down and ending the first quarter here with a six-point lead. 
at home against the Thunder here in game two. Seth Curry wide open for mid-range, getting the green lights, it's money. And uh, this bench squad has been doing wonders for me in this game. Ooh, look at that. Al, you pass from CP3 to Nerlens Noel. We haven't seen too much of him yet so far this series. And here we go, Willie Colley Stein getting the ball in the post and able to get the lucky bounce off of the missed dunk and it falls through, getting the and one right there. Dub CS getting the block. And here we are on the fast break. Michael Kidd Gilchrist wide open in the corner, splashing it from three and able to put the Mavs up by double digits here early in the second quarter. Schroeder with the ball again, throwing the flashy pass to Miritich in the post, who slams it down. Here we go again. Like I said, Gilgus Alexander would have an outstanding game. There he is right there with the mid-range from Green. JJ Barea trying to put some moves on Schroeder. Not getting the layup right there. Here come the Thunder on the fast break. Roberson over to Gilgus Alexander, fading on the sideline and able to get green lights once again, man. He's just killing it out there. Missed by Schroeder. He seems to be doing that a lot this game. Seth Curry leading the charge. I see Dub CS trailing, getting wide open for easy dunks. Here we are again, JJ Barea, and you already see the alley-oop play setup. I'm not sure what that play is called. I need to figure it out, but the uh, the auto coach has been running that play a lot. As, oh my goodness, look at that block right there. Michael Kidd Gilchrist on the fast break. You already see Dub CS throwing the lob, throwing down the jam. It's money. Up by 10 now here late in the second quarter. But like I was saying, uh, I really need to figure out what that play is called because I've seen it a lot. It's been effective, I'd say about 90% of the time. And it's usually easy dunks, easy lobs. Here we go again to Michael Kidd Gilchrist throwing it down. Up by 10 points now. Roberson passing to Gilgus Alexander in the post, putting in the little fadeaway and uh, getting the green lights. Tim Hardaway Jr. Now, we haven't seen much of him yet this game, but trust me, he's going to get some highlight plays in there for you. Throwing the step back from deep and getting that one to fall down. Almost a three-pointer on that play. Looking beautiful. Here we go again. Mavs playing some great defense, and here comes Tim Hardaway Jr. Playing some heavily guarded defense from Shooter, but able to make his way in, strategically getting to the basket and getting the tough layup to fall down. Here we are with under a minute left in the half, and oh my goodness, that was such a beautiful lob to Steven Adams. Can't really complain on that one. Here comes the lawn right off the screen. Open jumper, it's money. Money from the mid-range, you already know. And we are here in the second half now, putting the starters back into the game. Gilgus Alexander passing to a cutting Chris Paul, wide open for the mid-range and knocking that one down. But you already gotta know, Luca does not like being beat on backdoor cuts. He's gotta come back and get some scores of his own, running a pick and roll with Porzingis. The pick not doing so much, but able to cross back over, fade away, going out of bounds. And with that Hall of Fame difficult shots badge, he's able to knock down that one and get in the bucket. Gallo losing the ball. He's not able to do so much after we change the defensive settings and DeLon Wright with a nice move and getting the and one layup with the finger roll. Knocking that down, you already gonna know he's gonna get the green lights and complete the and one play. Gilgus Alexander again, like I said, he's been killing it this game, passing off to Chris Paul, who's able to knock down the contested jumper over Luca. He's just falling now here in the second half. Luca again coming off the screens. He's getting a few more three point shots than usual. Typically, we see maybe one from him in our game plays, but uh, starting to see a little bit more. Here he is cutting on the back door getting that wide open layup to fall. Chris Paul with the contested jumper, not able to get that one to fall down the lawn right on the fast break. We got numbers. Dorian Finney-Smith though, throwing up some wild shots, but able to get that ball right back. Open three pointer and knocking it down from the corner. And look at this lead we got going right now. 15 points, it's looking good. Make that 17 points. Too easy here for the Mavs. Are the Thunder really a worthy opponent? Porzingis with an impressive block. Look at that wingspan and throwing the bounce pass to Jalen Brunson. Looking beautiful. Gallo now posting up. Seth Curry, he's got the mismatch. Doesn't look like he knows what he wants to do, but finally able to put that one in. 
green lights on the layup. Porzingis getting the ball called to Kleber, passing to Brunson. We haven't been seeing too much of him yet today. Porzingis setting the screen for him and finding Porzingis wide open on that pick and pop from the free throw line. Up by 20 points now late in the third quarter. And that lead's just going to keep adding as Brunson with the fading mid-range. Knocking it down. It's, it's looking like it's going to be an easy win here in Dallas. But never count out the Hall of Fame CPU and never count out the Oklahoma City Thunder. This team has been proving haters wrong since the beginning of the season. Nobody was even expecting them to make the playoffs, and yet here they are as a sixth seed in the Western Conference. Uh, so yeah, here come the Thunder. It's rumbling. They're coming back. Noel here guarding Seth Curry. What's he going to do to him? Curry trying to do some step back moves. Uh, not able to finish and like I said here comes the thunder I hear it rumbling outside my window in real life CP3 getting that layup all of a sudden that 20 point lead is now a 12 point lead here in the fourth quarter Miritich with the wide open three not making it but Steven Adams getting offensive boards like he does and uh, here's that backdoor cut man CP3 with the beautiful cuts he has been you know he's not the fastest uh, not like he was earlier in his career, not as quick per se, but, you know, making smart moves to get open, get the ball, get some shots falling down. And uh, you already know, late in this game, Boban's going to be coming in at some point. He hasn't come in yet, but he's coming in soon. No need to worry. Luka, <laughs> see the double team coming, so I go for the quick mid-range fadeaway and uh, green lights on that. CP3 getting what I can't tell if that was supposed to be a screen or what that was, but uh, he manages to slide by Luca, gets the layup, and here is Boban, baby. Let's go. All right, and here we go right away. Luca getting double teamed. Boban wide open, green release, deep from the mid range. Boban coming in the clutch moments of this game. Mavs up by six points. Schroeder driving in, getting the contested layup. And uh, yeah, we need to come up with something fast. Boban wide open in the corner. Ooh, but not able to get that one to fall down. Here come the Thunder in the fast break. Schroeder, who's been missing shots all game, puts up another one and finally gets one to fall down. It's a two-point game now. How did this happen? Only a few minutes prior was it a 20-point game. Giving up the easy lead. Luka game double team. Porzingis open. Passing to Hardaway Jr. Getting green lights from the wing. Pulling away, trying to pull away as best we can. Schroeder coming in, beautiful pump fake and pass to Miritich. Man, that was that was probably the greatest pump fake and to a pass that I've ever seen in 2K history. CP3 being guarded by Boban. It doesn't matter. Look at the contest rating on that shot. I couldn't believe it. I thought that was an easy block. But CP3 able to finish through Boban. You already know. This is this is peak Hall of Fame difficulty right here. Luca getting the screen from Boban. Wide open in the post. Getting the layup. Boban coming in and making moves here late in this game when it's needed most. Miritich with the three missing that. Here comes Boban getting the defensive rebound. DeLon right now on the fast break. We see a cutting Porzingis and getting dunks. Up by three now. Five minutes left in this game. Every possession counts. Miritich getting the screen from Steven Adams. The unlikely pick and roll combo. And he's getting the three with the green lights. It's a tie game now. Steven Adams again with the ball in this play being guarded by Boban. And uh, Gilgis Alexander, like I said, he was just balling this game. Couldn't stop him. Luka now on the fast break. Getting the, Oh, sorry, not the fast break. We are in the half court, but look at this play. I love this play right here. Like I was saying earlier, but instead of an alley-oop, I wanted to play it safe because Boban's pass rating, I'm sure, is not the best. Uh, I have not checked the rating, but I'd imagine it's not great. And Steven Adams getting the impressive lob right back on us. Luca being double teamed again. That's going to leave Boban wide open and getting dunks. Tie game. It's just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Miritich shooting up the three and making that one. Oh my goodness, this, and it, it doesn't even feel like we're playing, like the defense hasn't gone down, that's for sure. I feel like our defensive effort has been just as good as the Thunder just started scoring. Here comes Boban on the fast break leading the charge, and CP3 ends up being the one guarding him. Can Boban finish? Yes, he can. 
up by one now with under three minutes left to go in this game. Gilgis Alexander, like I said, he's been dangerous. And uh, passing it off to Gallo, who finally gets some buckets. It feels like he hasn't even scored since the first quarter. Tim Hardaway Jr. getting the screen from Porzingis. And here he's going for the mid-range fadeaway clutch shot. Able to finish that one. Looking beautiful here in the fourth quarter. Two minutes left now. Up by one. CP3 with the ball. You see Steven Adams cutting. You see Gilgis Alexander cutting. There was no contact on that play, but they called a foul on the lawn right anyways. And one right there. Now the Sun Thunder up by two. And Boban with the impressive dunk and one slamming it down. Getting the crowd hype. The ref is scared. He's hiding behind the Thunder bench. And uh, yeah, Boban letting the Thunder know what's up and completing the and one play right there. Now up by one point with under two minutes left to go in this game. The Thunder definitely want to get us back on that one. And uh, right here running a double screen for CP3 who's got a wide open hole of the basket. Passing off to Steven Adams and able to finish over both Porzingis and, and uh, Boban right there. Luca coming down now, calling the screen from Porzingis. It's going to be a pick and pop. He's getting double team. Pass off to DeLon Wright. Passing back to Luca. Beautiful pass work by the Mavericks. And uh, Luca ends up being the recipient on that play to get the score. Here we are, 45 seconds left. We just need a stop and a score to seal this one. Gilgis Alexander getting the screen from Steven Adams. Driving in, gets blocked by Porzingis, and you see Luca leaking on the fast break. CP3 having none of that, and that will be the dagger right there. Mavs up by four with 30 seconds left. And uh, yeah, we end up winning this one 121 to 117. Great game by the Mavericks here in game two. Another nail biter, another close one. And it was not expected either, especially late in the third, being up by 20 points. Uh, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed this one. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Big Blue Baller YouTube channel and turn on notifications if you enjoyed and want to see more. Check out all the social media that you see on the screen and in the description. Once again, we are going to be streaming game three today may 12th 6 p.m central time and if you're watching this during the stream or after the stream no worries because we will be streaming game four as well on sunday at 6 p.m central time as well and i'm still going to be making the youtube videos for those games so i just encourage you to come on to the stream and hang out and talk with me and have some fun as we play some mavs my league Without further ado, to all my big blue ballers out there, let's get that bread, and I'll see you all on the next one.